So blind faith is not good. We need to understand, try to understand what we believe, try to articulate what we believe, and discourse what we believe in order that we know what to share with others about our faith. Hello, welcome to another dose of holy, and this is Father Sunny. I'd like to greet you today. A happy, happy, beautiful day, beautiful Monday. And uh, today, I would like to talk to you about blind faith. I was talking to a couple people, um, and uh, they were telling me that um, that there is a difference between our faith and our faith should be pure and uh, only based on you know um, whatever the Bible teaches, and so we cannot. We cannot possibly try to seek explanations and try to understand it and complicate things or whatever it is that they're trying to tell me. <laughs> I never really completely understood. But the message I got from the way they were talking is that um, for them, the way we believe in something, our the meaning of faith is simply that it's blind. It's, it's completely uh, unintelligible. It's something that's completely cannot be explained. And... Uh, in a way, it is true because there is such a thing as a complete explanation to faith, why we have faith, why the universe exists, the things that we believe in, a lot of them are in a way revelations and therefore do not have full explanations. And yet, even then, when we look at the reality of, the, of our religion, when we, or the things of our beliefs, it is still possible to actually ask questions pertaining to what you believe in and in order for you to be able to articulate it better, to be able to de define define it better, to be able to see that faith or the things that you believe in in relation to what it's not. Uh, and, that, and that's a good way to understand better what you believe in. And I, I think the whole idea of simply just believing it, period, and not having to question it or ask why it is this way or that way or contrasting it to other types of beliefs, I think that is just dangerous. <laughs> it's almost like, I believe that... Um, the sky, the, 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 that the planet Earth is triangular shaped. I'm like, okay, well, what's the base? You know, now you have to ask questions. Otherwise, it's very, very dangerous. It's not enough that we simply believe. And I think if we are going to define what theology is, theology is this, um, you know, the, the study when well, a priest like myself has studied theology, we went to school to study theology, we went to school to study the Bible, we went to school to study. The history of the church. We went to see the, to the to the seminary and studied about the me the meaning of the meaning of the the, the church itself or the religion itself. Uh, what it is that we believe about that the doctrines of faith. Uh, it taught us about the scriptures, the Bible, um, the histories of the Bible. It teaches us about the sacraments, why we have the sacraments, why we believe in the Blessed Virgin Mary uh, as, uh, and, and why we honor her, what we believe about angels, why, what we believe about a the end times, what we believe about you know, the, the cosmos or the universe at large, uh, what we believe about morality in the faith, what we teach about moral principles that are, that are co congruent or consistent to the scriptures or to, to, the, to the teaching of Jesus Christ. So these are all possible to ask if we if we don't if we don't if we refuse blind faith <laughs> so blind faith is not good we need to understand try to understand what we believe try to articulate what we believe and discourse what we believe in order that we know what to share with others about our faith and i think this is the problem with many catholics out there that that, that share the faith with me um, many Catholics seem to, did, to not have the ability to articulate their faith very well. They are put to shame by, by some other than Catholic Christians out there. Uh, and we are supposed to be the original Christians. And so how is it possible that we, the original Christians, Christians are not able to articulate our faith well and defend it and, and, and teach it to others and share it to others in an intelligible and, and sensible way? So I think it is important that you and I um, truly take our, our, our share of responsibility in, in learning more about the faith and learning more about what it is that we really believe. For example, 
why what do we mean when we say that Jesus has is one divine person with two with two natures human and divine so what does that really mean um, and also perhaps what do we really mean by uh, purgatory some people need to ask what it is what is purgatory and why what we really believe about purgatory and what is the the heart and soul of that particular belief uh, why we believe um, that Mary is conceived immaculately, that she was conceived without original sin. So there are certain things that we need to really, really define well and to understand in order to, to be able to share it to others for them to also understand what we believe. And also at the same time, when we don't succumb to this whole idea of blind faith, it is better for it. We are we are we get to be stronger in our belief, so that we don't get easily dissuaded by, uh, dissuaded by other by other Christians that 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 have a very completely different understanding of the things that we believe in as Catholics. And so, it is power. You know, faith is faith is a gift of God, and what we have to do to engage in that faith is to try to understand. And understand it and learn it and make it grow and and make it more and enrich it enrich it by um, learning more about it sharing it to, uh, with others and also celebrating it in whatever opportunity we have out there so um, I encourage you to take your time during these days uh, during this time the days of so many different kinds of opinions about what we believe out there to make sure to go back to your roots and to really learn about it and to engage in conversations with people about it, but most especially pass it on to someone, pass on your knowledge of the faith to others, because that is a responsibility. Knowledge is like a seed that gets planted on someone else that will grow and bear fruit in the future. So um, yeah, it is called the spiritual act of mercy, the act of um, educating or instructing the ignorant. <laughs> so uh, today, um, I encourage you all to just have the fervent enthusiasm to really learn and understand your faith in order for you to be able to share it to others. This is Father Sunny for another dose of holy. God bless you with happy, uh, holy, and healthy life. Until next time here at Dose of Holy. God bless you.